stop beetly booping at me? Got a piece of power. Can't avoid spin attacks. I think over this way we need to go. Remember this totally non suspicious bush? It's got a secret seashell in it. And yes, it can fall into the water, but I don't think that gets rid of it forever. Another seashell down. I think there's two more seashells we can get. Thankfully, the piece of power speeds us up, too, so we can tackle this pretty quickly. Hello there. When I was swimming in the bay, the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. If you find it, I will let you take a scale from my tail. Uh, okay. Kind of a weird prize, but whatever. I'm not one to refuse free scales, I guess. Anyway. We got a hibiscus last episode. Wrong house. And this goat conveniently told us that she likes hibiscus sisis. Oh, you brought me a hibiscus sisis. Since you're such a gentleman, I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? Sure thing. I would like you to take this letter to Mr. Wright, who lives on the border of the mysterious forest, please. Ah, our old stomping grounds the mysterious forest. It is indeed fantastic that we now have a letter. Dust, that's the next part of the trading sequence. Hi, Marin. We have a ghost. Apparently, Marin does not see the ghost. I see dead people walking around like regular people. They don't know they're dead. Actually, he does know he's dead. And he usually tells us by now, walking around, that he wants us to take him somewhere, but it doesn't always happen. Enough about that, though. We can finally afford this bloody expensive bow. Bow and arrow set, only 980 rupees. Gee, a steal. Anyway. We have the bow, and some arrows. How about that? And we also have no money. Sad. Uh, anyway. The bow actually has an interesting secret in this game. If you use it and the bombs at the same time... Oh, doesn't always work. Alright, let's try not to get somewhere where we aren't going to get shot by a dog. It's a little tricky to pull off. It's a bit exact. There we go. If you use bombs and a bow at the same time, you can actually fire bomb arrows. Oh, now you're telling us. The house, take me to the house at the bay. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's actually a cool little secret there. Bomb arrows don't necessarily... Bomb arrows aren't necessarily needed for the game, but they can be helpful, I guess. After all, it's a projectile bomb. What more could you want? Thank you, consistent heart-giving bushes. Oh, shoot. I'm wasting my bombs. Bye. 
thought, yeah, if we can head down to the bay now. I mean, you can head down there without him even telling you. I guess you just have to hold still and wait for him to tell you. But I think we were in this house before. Went inside, smashed all the barrels, didn't find anything. Apparently it belongs to this guy. Power bracelet, right. Kinda derp for a second there. Here we are. Here, enter my house. Nostalgia unchanged. Boo hoo. Enough, cemetery. Take me, my grave. Indeed, our poor dead friend has had enough, is sad that he's dead, and wants us to take him home. This game has some emotional feels to it sometimes. And also frustration that I can't get that. There we go. He used to be a pro at that. But times have changed, I guess. We're not heading back to his grave just yet. It's a lone grave in the cemetery up above. As we have a couple more things to grab around here. Go away. Like this secret seashell. You got a secret seashell? If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Maybe to make that more interesting, I should sing it every time. Yes, I know, grave, take you to your grave. We can also take care of something down here now. Oops. Since we can swim now. We can finally get into this secluded little area. And down this hole, this looks familiar. We last saw one of these in the mysterious woods. Mysterious forest, mysterious woods, whichever. Hey there, Mad Batter. You woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. I'll let you carry more bombs! Ha ha ha! Yes! One epileptic convulsion later. And we can carry more bombs. 60 of them to be precise. Quite handy, that. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to get over this hole. You're messing up my jump timing, ghost. Oh, come on, I can make two total gaps. There we go. Uh, I think that's the last thing we have to grab over this way for now. What am I doing? I can just teleport there. Silly me. Ghost, ghost. Not this way. Whoop. 
And we are home, Mr. Ghost. Thank you, Ajar, in my home. Look inside. Bye. Bye. Oh, look, an owl. It has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the twin fish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward. Hoot. We're not quite done here yet. Ah, uh, how I love pictures. Spark, what are you doing here? You want to know about that ghost? I'll bet he's happy thanks to you. Are you ready for a picture? I'll call this, I was very afraid. Smile. Oh, -ho, look at that. Ghost buddies with us. Cough, cough. Don't sprinkle that on me. I'll have to curse you. Cough, cough. Sorry. Couldn't resist. Anyway, since we're up by the mysterious forest, we might as well take care of something else. Go deliver that letter. Mr. Ape. What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy. And look, the letter came with a photograph. Hey, wait a second. That doesn't look right. She's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm. Well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How'll that be? Sure thing. You got a broom as your reward for Mr. Wright. That photo was not of... Yep. Flying goats. Letter writing is such a great hobby. Yeah, we're just getting trades all over the place. To... In fact, we're pretty much finishing up the trading sequence in this video. Except for the very last part. give a broom to? Well... Grandma Lorira seems to be missing her broom. Yahoo! Yahoo! A new broom for me? It is, isn't it? Yes! Everyone's into that in this game. In return, you can have this fishing hook I found when I swept by the riverbank. Okay then! You exchanged the blue broom for a fishing hook. What oh, will the fishing hook become? The game seems to imply that the trade um, items transform into each other, but it's not really the case. Anyway. head back to that house. I still tend to do that going quiet during commentary. I'm getting more used to this, though. But there's... what? Five parts? You think I'd be a more, little bit more used to it by now. I was set to look in a jar, but we broke all these jars before. What could there possibly be in here that we hadn't already seen? That wasn't there before. Well, we found a secret seashell. Isn't that mysterious? But anyway. Time to move on. That's all the seashells we're getting for now. Oops. I seriously could do that, no problem. 
You gotta believe me. What is that? I do not know. That is so mysterious. Whatever. Sure, it's not important. Er, that guy up there said that secrets are like bridges when it comes to water. Well, there is a secret seashell near nearby. There's also another secret. Right here. It's our fisherman pal. I'm sure he could use a spare hook. Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? You had better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Okay. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. Sped up music. My, that's a big one. And hey, it's a necklace. Lucky. That necklace is also an another subject of censorship. The mermaid said she lost it in the river. But in other versions of the game, it wasn't a necklace. It was a bikini top. Yeah. Pretty interesting, that, I suppose. Though, understandable why they changed it. Hey, we found your... necklace. That's it, that's my necklace. Give it, give it back. I will give you a scale, as I said. Sure thing. Promise you'll only take one. You returned the necklace and got a scale of the mermaid's tail. How will you use this? And the mermaid swims away. Hmm, she does come back at some point where you can talk to her. Hey, I wonder how that fisherman's doing. Well, that's not a fish. I have a feeling that I'll catch a big fish again. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. Oh, he's got a bite. Oh, that's a big one. Hey, photo guy, can you take a picture of this? Hey, be more careful next time. And... That's just silly. I can't wait to see what I catch next. Well, you're not catching a lot of fish, but... At least it's entertaining to watch you try. And with that, that's the last photo and part of the trading sequence we can get, too. Well, I'm sure she'll be back eventually. We can't talk to her again. Hey, totally unsuspicious looking thing. You are totally unsuspicious. And so is that. Take a little secret passage down here. And totally unsuspicious looking thing is actually the fifth dungeon. Level 5, Catfish is Small. Well, you know what that means. Time for a little break.